Our recent severe weather is just one more disaster that members of the Texas Baptist men are ready to tackle. The group is already working to help evacuees of the wildfires southwest of Fort Worth, as well as Ukrainian refugees in Poland. Fox 4's Lori Brown joins us now with the very latest. Lori. Heather, Texas Baptist Men is sending 50 volunteers to Jacksboro to help the dozens of people whose homes were destroyed in the tornado. Among the victims is a pastor who is working to help three other families who lost their homes in his congregation. So we want to make it where you can be comfortable while you're Thank taking you. care of your people and Thank you're you. taking care of your home and, well, and your people and everything. That's what we want to make this so available much, to you. David. Yeah, you know, so, and this is so incredibly grateful. Texas Baptist men are serving three locations connected to Monday's tornado outbreak. Among the hardest hit, Jacksboro. 90 families lost their homes in the 150 mile per hour winds. Two schools were also hit as parents abandoned their cars during pickup to shelter inside with their children. Amazingly, no one was seriously injured. Among the storm victims, Pastor Jack Maddox of First Baptist Church, Jacksboro. Beautiful home. Um, many pastors have raised their families there and it's, it's gone. Texas Baptist men are providing an RV for the pastor's family until they are able to get long-term housing. We have five children and our youngest is 17 and he's a junior here at Jacksboro High School. And uh, shout out to our Tigers. And, uh, and he, uh, he is very excited that he's not gonna have to uh, sleep in the same room with mom and dad. Pastor Maddox says the tornado destroyed the homes of at least three other families in his church. Wednesday, volunteers with Texas Baptist men worked to mobilize their command center at the church's parking lot for 50 volunteers who will go out into the neighborhoods to help with cleanup efforts. We'll have two chainsaw crews that will come in here and they'll come in with their equipment, their chainsaw uh, trailers with all the saws and everything they need to, to, to take trees off of houses and off of uh, uh, properties and get them to the curb. We do safety training with everything and so they have all that personal protection uh, equipment on that on that uh, those trailers too and uh, none of our cutters cut unless they've been trained and uh, same thing with the skid steer people and the man lift operators we'll make sure everybody's doing everything safely but with crews also helping victims of the eastland wildfires and ukrainian refugees in poland the organization is stretched thin we just have to divide and conquer and the lord's blessed us with teams that'll step up and do that there are no reports of any deaths in Jacksboro, but nine people were taken to the hospital for injuries.